if you go just to give you more examples of Muhammad copying from the Jews and copying from fairy tales around him not necessarily just the Jews everybody if you go here Let us see. Hmm. Look at this story. Look at this story and the madness and the stupidity of this false prophet. Muhammad, remember, he claimed to be a prophet. How a prophet of God he would say such a thing. This is a strong hadith. This is not a shish kebab week. This is Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number 3400. And I can find you the same stories in many books. You will see here is speaking about a guy his name is al Khadr, who drank from the fountain of youth and this man who Allah sent him sent Musa to him to learn from him wisdom and you will see right away how the name of Musa appear in the story Musa thought that he is the most person who knows knows about what about the teaching of Allah a person asked him, are you the most knowledgeable? He said, yes. Allah said to Moses, no. You are not the most learned. You are not. Moses, he said, who is no more knowledgeable than me? He said, our slave, the Khadr, he is more learned than you. Moses, he said, how I can meet him? And then the story continue. And you will see a very funny, stupid story about Musa. As Allah told him to take a fish with him, as the Quran story says. And when you lose the fish, because the fish will come back to life. Why the fish will come back to life? Because the fish will drink from the fountain of youth and come back to life. Because this is the fountain. Whoever drank from it, he come back to life. You see the story. <laughs> And then Musa's the fish escape and run in the water and the fish when it goes in the water it make the water like a rock so they can trace and walk in the top of the water imagine Musa's is walking in the top of the water and then when they arrive in the middle of the ocean they found a guy his name is Al-Khadr he is in the middle of the ocean just staying there you see it says they follow the, the the traces of the fish in the ocean. Have you ever heard of somebody following a trace of a fish in the ocean? How in the world we can follow a trace of a fish in the ocean? Why? Because the ocean turned like a rock, solid rock, wherever the fish go. So they just walk. They did not even take a boat. They were walking in the ocean. All those stories Muhammad is copying from people around him mixed with the legion of the Jews the story of al Khadr is a story the Jews they learned when they were captured in Iraq by the Assyrian in Iraq and in the Persia there is a very well-known uh, uh, story about a guy his name Gilgamesh and about a guy who his name is al Khadr who searched for you know like you know searching for life and fountain of life and this story is exist in many uh, uh, cultures actually the 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 movie which is movie is you know exists today uh, the Caribbean uh, you know the part of the Caribbean you will see there they are speaking about the fountain of youth this is how much this story spread all over the same as the flying horse of Suleiman if you remember when Muhammad he entered upon Aisha and he said to her, What is that? She was playing with dolls. He said to her, What is that? And he saw between between the dolls, he saw a horse have two wings. Okay. Let us see. Here we go. Muhammad, he said to Aisha, when she was playing with her dolls, the prophet who married a child, he moved the curtain and he said, what is this? She said, she did not say actually my doll. She said, Banati, which means my daughter. Among them, 
he saw a horse with wings made of rags this is what Muhammad start teaching the Muslims look what this happened here Aisha is a child Aisha is a child and Muhammad Aisha here is by the way she is at the age of 14 not exactly like a little baby as before when he married her so now she is getting into the youth age she's 14 and ask what is this I see among them she replied a horse he said what is that it has on it she replied two wings Muhammad he said and here read carefully with me what happened here this is extremely important he said to her what is that what is that in there like okay it's a horse she said yes horse what is that he said she said a horse with wings he said a horse with two wings Muhammad himself he is wondering what she replied haven't you heard that Solomon had a horses with wings and Muhammad in the moment he laughed until his teeth came out he found it funny and stupid but later Muhammad he adopted the story <laughs> and he told the story and this is where he learned the story from a child the child Aisha she learned from the Jews that Suleiman he have obviously she play, she play with the Jewish children that Suleiman he have a flying horse have have wings he copied the story he told the story he spread the story that's what Islam is about 